So we have a set x and a topology tau on x, and we're asked to find all of the limit points of a. And we're also asked to find uh, this here. This is called the derived set. And this is the set of all limit points of a. So let's go ahead and work it out. So first, we're going to start by checking little a. Is little a a limit point of capital A? So what does it mean for little a to be a limit point? It means that every open set containing this guy contains a point of a different from little a. So let's start by looking at the open sets containing little a. So we have this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. All of these are open sets and they all contain little a. And the question is, do they all contain points different from little a? Well, no. Um, this here is open and does not contain points of a different from little a. It only contains little a. So little a would be a limit point if every open set containing little a would contain points of big A different from little a. So we found an open set that contains little a and contains no points of big A that are different. So little a is not a limit point. Let's check the rest of them and hopefully it starts to make uh, more sense. So let's check little b. Okay, so now we have to look at all of the open sets that contain little b. Well, that would be this one, this one, and this one, and this one. And the question is, do they all contain points of a different from little b? And they do, right? They do, because this one contains little b, and that's different from a, and it's an a. Likewise, so does this one, and this one, and then capital X certainly does. So this is a limit point because every open set containing little b contain points, contains points of a uh, different from little b. So b is a, lim is a limit point. Let's check little c. So we have to look at all of the open sets containing little c. Well, the only open set containing little c, or there's two of them, a, b, c, d, and x. These are the open sets, open sets containing little c. And they both contain points of a different from little c. So for example, this one contains little b. That's an a, and it's not equal to little c. And this one also contains little b. That's an a, and it's not equal to little c. So little c, this is also a limit point. So limit point. So so far we have two. We have b and we have c. So we've done a, b, c. Let's check d. Check D, let me switch colors here, this is getting messy. So we have to look at all of the open sets containing little d. Well, there's three of them. One, two, three. These are all open sets that contain little d. And the question is, do they contain points of a um, different from little d? And they do, right? They do. Um, this one contains a, this one contains a, and this one contains a. So uh, that's satisfied. So little d, this is a limit point. And the last one to check is E. And again, let's look at all of the open sets uh, containing E. Well, there's only one open set containing E. That's X. This contains E. It's the only open set containing E. And the question is, does it contain uh, points of A different from little e? And uh, it does. It contains A, right? Because capital X is all of this. So little e is a limit point. So this is a limit point. So we have all of the limit points now. Uh, so the derived set is the set of all of the limit points. So we said, let's see, A was not a limit point. Um, right, not a limit point. B is a limit point. C is a limit point. Uh, D is a limit point, And E is a limit point. So the derived set is B, C, D, E. And that's it. And just to recap, what you do is you just pick one of the points and you look at all the open sets. And the question is, does each open set contain points of this guy different from the point you're considering? So in the case of little a, um, we found an open set 
which only contained little a. So uh, little a was not uh, a limit point, but the rest turned out to be. That's it.